Okay, here we are. We we're running Neodyme PK port software. It's software that works with the evaluation board of the hydro nose uh, hydrogen sensor. And what we're going to do here is, if you can see my mouse up in this area here, it says 12 RU. Well, the, I that's just I'm not going to actually share. It's just the units it's using. But when it's converted, it's that's saying that it's 300 ppm of hydrogen gas is in this box right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to start charging this uh, basically through a bulk then absorption and during that time we're going to watch to see how this number climbs now. 40,000 ppm would be 4% which is the trigger point which is you want to definitely stay below because that's where hydrogen can, gas can actually ignite. Okay here we are we have the AC on and right now we're using uh, Xantrax um, as far as the uh, inverter, which is also going to be charging these solar batteries. And it's putting in, we got a 20% set at, so it's putting in 33.5 amps into two strings of 48 volt batteries. Okay, we're back here. It's almost two hours. And the voltage, as you can see, is still about, uh, 50, oh, it's just went up to 57.1. Uh, the current going into the batteries is still 33.6 amps. Going back to our hydrogen readings here, you can kind of see right here, we're now at 1650 ppms, and uh, we'll see what happens as this keeps building. Okay, here we are again. It's almost uh, two and a half hours since the charging's begun. We're still at uh, 33.67 amps there. We're at 58.6 volts for the bulk charge. Um, the bulk charge will peak around 59. I think it's set at 59, but it seems to go to about 59 and a half volts. And we're still putting in about two kilowatts. And there's our time and date. Um, but now you hear something in the background, which is a beeping sound. And what that is is the hydro no sensor. Uh, whoops, sorry. I don't know sensor is set for once this gets above 8,000 which is 0.8 percent um, of, of ratio with air and right now we're at 9,273 it's starting to really climb and the concern is when this hits 40,000 which is still quite a ways away we just have the alarm set pretty low here okay um, this is now beeping. It will continue to beep for a while. Um, I'm just going to let it beep. The sensor again is down there in the box, which is sealed. And you hear it beeping. But right now I'm just going to let it cook a little bit longer and show you what happens. Oh, I do want to show the plot here. I guess I'm going to have to move it over. It's, it's slowly, you can kind of see right here, slowly going up. And I gotta go to the end here. There's my mouse. There it is. Going to move it there. As you can see on the chart, after getting close to the 59 volts here, she really starts taking off and it starts being a concern. And right now the batteries are probably boiling. And you'll hear basically well the hydrogen gas is going up. And right here is the alarm that's set. And right now we're at basically 1%, a little over 1%, it's 10,000 and that's 1% uh, of hydrogen in, as far as volume with respect to air. Okay, and there's the chart. So once it uh, took off, it uh, really went. And what we're going to do here now, I don't know if you can see it here, we're I'll zoom in a little bit here. You can see the uh, we're almost 2.4 percent here. So I'm going to go over here and now open the valve, which is going to basically this is a two-inch pipe. Well, this is three-inch, but there's a two-inch hole here. And now we're going to watch the graph to see what the difference is and how good our ventilation is. This is really what we're trying to find out with this hydrogen sensor. If this is really working and do we have a good system? As you can see, she kind of plateaued out already. And that might be because, nope, it's coming down. 
and now you just heard the alarm just quit. And I, I'm going to come back here in a little bit to put this on a tripod because this isn't. I want to show you what happened here on the graph. Okay, here we are again. Um, with the valve open now, you can see the hydrogen gas. I mean, we were hitting almost 2.3 percent, and you can kind of see this quick. It didn't take very long, and it came well below the limit, and now it's just kind of hovering around. Uh, what is it about five, five hundred, or excuse me, five thousand ppm, which is basically now uh, point five, point yeah, point five percent, and it's still dropping pretty quickly. And I will show you the, uh, the ppm level here. There you are, and you can see the reading has really already dropped. It's at 4,400 and it's dropping really fast. So anyway, that gave us confidence that we do have a pretty good uh, ventilation system here. And we also found that the fan, we have a fan here, but you really don't need a fan. Um, the fan is more for thermal uh, when the batteries, if they get a little bit too warm. So uh, that's pretty what I wanted to show. And uh, the, the ventilation is working. and. Uh, and batteries do give off hydrogen gas if it's you know totally sealed and when you're doing any at least the close to the absorption stage which in our case was 59 volts and it went up pretty quickly so yeah i would say it's a good idea in our case to actually have this vent and check and make sure it's working so anyway i wanted to share that and thanks for watching bye